tell you. Hey guys, so basically, um, the series of videos that I'm about to show you is basically my progress and my journey of starting, well, not really a journey, just my project of starting a custom live action or custom pretty much live action Wolverine figure. And basically, where we go, the base for this figure was a black molded, was it? Beat Spider Mold, but it came from the Charles Xavier figure in the same wave that the, um, I think that the pretty much, you know, other, pretty much the wave, the, I think the new line, pretty much the Charles Xavier that can walk in the black suit. Basically, that body came from that figure. I mainly just got that figure for the head and the hands. Because more mainly everybody got it just for the hands and the head. All right, if I like that figure or Charles Xavier in that version more, maybe I wouldn't customize it. But I wanted a live action version of Wolverine in my collection, other than just my Logan figure, my Fox Logan figure. So I wanted to make a combat suit. And basically, this custom figure is loosely inspired by this um, pretty much concept art. Of a live action Wolverine in some sort of tactical uh, suit. Basically, I took some information from this one and this one. Is Lucy based off of the X Men Days of Future Past one? This one and this one. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and see you at the end. Hey guys, so I just started like the base of my X Men Days of Future Past custom Wolverine. And basically, I'm going to be using the hand and the heads. I'm not going to paint them. They're going to be swapping them onto the figure. But basically, I'm just now working on the armature or like the base of it. So I can build on top of it and make it look more armory. Now I'm going to be using this tan fabric. The pig over there to make the baggy pants look. Then be painting it black. And I'm just using these to make the legs a little bit thicker. Since I want it to look like... This body can actually be under this outfit. So yeah. So now I was working on the chest piece, but I'm thinking that I just use I should just use index card cardboard so this chest piece won't just fall out. Because so I'm using Corolla clay, but I should have got epoxy put epoxy clay or procreate. But I'm probably gonna go with the cardboard look and take this off. And basically, yeah. I also put some cardboard on the and that's not gonna be the belt right here is going to be the belt and basically yeah so basically all I'm doing is I'm doing the torso and the thigh part and then I'm going to move on to the arms and the legs but yeah so basically guys I might do the Days of Future Past look or I might just look up some concept art on Mar on what was it pretty much concept art of Wolverine live action MCU outfit and might do that but yeah I might do that artwork on this figure, or I might just go with the Days of Future Past look, or probably the first appearance of X X Men, like the live action X Men Wolverine, but it doesn't like the whole tire baggy pants look on that suit. So yeah, I might go with that, but I'm probably not gonna go with that. So yeah, so yeah, guys, I might be, I'm most likely will be making this Future Past one. But tweaking it up to look at, it'll make it look more comic accurate or more MCU like. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys with part two, and I'll be showing you the finishing product or finishing me me finishing the legs. So yeah. Hey guys, so this is part two of my custom Wolverine. Now I haven't finished the legs. I just gotta do it on the floor, on the lower half of the legs. I gotta put on the padding. Make it look more military bootish. I was really just gonna try to add um, some what was it ankle pivot right here, but the Logan figure doesn't have it. So I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Just want to mess with the figure because I never tried installing a pretty much well ankle swivel. But you, if you get if you guys are like actual figure customizers, and you can go down in the comments and. Tell me or pretty much give me tips how to do it. I appreciate it. But uh, so I just got done with the thighs. I'm gonna be painting that that black. I'm gonna be smoothing it out to make it look more cleaner. 
I'm using the Loken and head on this figure. I'm not going to be painting them because it's just the fist and head design I'm going to. I'm going for. And for the waist, use some cardboard index cards to make the pouches. Basically, this is actually going to. This is actually based off some concept art. I'm going for this design right here in the top corner. Basically, I'm not showing the head because I don't think I, I have enough pretty much time. But yeah, basically going for this design. Uh, this uh, what was it art style. Basically, it's more of like a military type combat suit. Type more modernized type of version. So basically, I'm gonna go for that version. And yeah, guys. So part three will be pretty much finishing all the pretty much all the you know pretty much well base for it the padding on the arms and finishing the boots or the leg pieces maybe installing a what was it ankle swivel swivel and yes yeah, so basically gonna be installing that and i'm gonna be finishing this figure pretty soon so part three will be about just showing you the finishing product before i add the paint and other details and yeah so Hey guys, so yeah, so I just finished the base mold of uh, the base, not the base mold, just the base of my pretty much, well, the short live action custom Wolverine box edition. Now the art style I went off was the last, you know, part or part of the video I uploaded because I am going to be uploading this series on, on this, you know, project progress on my TikTok, on my YouTube, as well, with my Wally West custom figure, I'm still working on it, just got the leg done, but yeah, so yeah, so I just finished, um, pretty much the boot area, I just made it simple, because I don't want to put a lot of cardboard on it, because I really don't want to mess up, because the base mold is black, and most of the figure is like a tactical black, light bluish, and that's basically what the mold is made out of or plastic is and also the cardboard pretty nice because it's smooth that hot that hot glue a little bit but other than that it's a pretty good figure so far so yeah now i do have to fix up the back um <laughs> i do have to fix up the back and i did do a size comparison i think i did one next to my mesco Cyclops, or right before I made this video, and it does size up very mold, very, uh, very nicely, because Cyclops is supposed to be taller than Wolverine, but in the Fox universe, they're about the same height, or Wolverine's taller than him, but basically I want them to be about the same height, or Wolverine to be shorter than Cyclops, so I think it works out pretty well, and I also did want an MCU style, or a live action style Wolverine custom, my collection, because I really like the comic book Wolverine, but probably the only comic book Wolverine figure I want is probably the Amazing Yamaguchi one, or the Mezco one. But basically, uh, I had this Logan figure, I barely used it, but I wanted to use it, and I love the claws from the Fox Logan figure so much, that I wanted to make a figure I can play with, and I like, because I do like Wolverine and his more tactical outfits, other than his, you know, shirt clothes, and his, you know, thing. Basically... I'm gonna be switching in and out these heads and stuff like that for like you know stop motions and stuff like that. So yeah. So the next stop motion I'm actually making is not gonna be part episode two of um, Time Wars. I did just got done with the stop motion, but I haven't got all the voice actors in and made the voice acting and clipped it in to actually upload it. So the next stop motion after that, before I upload episode two, is going to be an X Men stop motion. But yeah, X Men stop motion. I'm there perspective of how time wars is going so yeah so guys i just got finished with the back um what was it i just got back i just got done with the back and now i'm gonna start painting it so yeah hey guys so basically i just got done painting and basically i'm not really done i gotta let this paint set and dry then after that i'm gonna take a light bluish a light blue we're not aqua like darkish blue light blue basically do some shading 
do some shading on the middle parts or the gray parts. I kind of tweak that up after the first coat. Then we're going to give it another coat. Then we're going to do the shading. And then basically it's going to be done. So yeah, the back looks pretty nice as well. So yeah, all I got to do is tweak it up and it's going to be brand new. Hey guys, so I just got finished with completely painting this guy. Now the paint's still drying. I did upgrade the brightness blue on the shorts or the pretty much tactical pants. Now the painting is still kind of you know, messy, but I'm gonna have to fix. I'm even gonna fix that up as the paint dries with the exacto knife to cut the paint being together so it looks a little bit more smoother. And also I added some yellow shading because it was some yellow lines on the pretty much live action, pretty much Wolverine uh, fan art I'm basing this figure off of. So basically, it doesn't look exactly like the original one, but I need to get actual black paint. So basically I might just go back and paint the whole tactical pants gray again and just dry brush the supposed to be pouches right here and just keep them the same color or shade or white shading they have so yeah you know basically yeah so um next time or later i'm going to be upload make another video a progress video but basically well this again now by the viewers that are watching this pretty much to talk on my youtube page since hey, i'm going to be uploading all these parts on my youtube page um see you on the last part so guys this is the finished product or the well the finishing of my figure now basically for the extra details i used a black sharpie and basically the paints i used for this figure all together was this blue this gray this gray I didn't have a black. I also used a mixture of black and this metallic purple or yeah metallic nail brush paint. Basically mixing them together for some of it. But most of those other, you know, pretty much designs I made with the yellow and everything. I painted over it, made it more grayish. I did some dry brushing with a little bit of white and yellow, mainly yellow on the on the shin guards and yeah now i didn't do any you know detailing on the feet because i didn't want because the feet are pretty you know hard to move they got that click to it so or that little bit of satisf satisfying you know moving but a little bit hard as well so yeah so basically i didn't want to add any cardboard or any you know you know pretty much extra on that so I just kept it like that, and I think it worked out pretty well. Now this is the back. The back, I feel like it was it turned out really well. And yeah, and the boot area turned out really well. I got, you know what? Let me fix that real quick. Now I didn't really fix it since you know I'm not gonna really be showing look the pretty much my custom live action Logan's you know pretty much butt, but yeah. So I feel like this figure turned out really well and it looks really good. And I pretty much based it off multiple concept art on X-Men Hits of Future Past, uh, live action Wolverines, MCU styles of Wolverine's costumes, stuff like that. And this is my own version of Wolverine in some sort of tactical suit that he would wear in live action or in the MCU if he ever got into the MCU. So yeah. So yeah guys, so this, uh, let me do some size comparisons real quick. Here's the next to a Mezco Cyclops, about the same height. Mezco Cyclops is probably, probably like about, eh, about, yeah, like a, like a, a slightly taller than him. Here's the next to Retro Collection Spider-Man. They scale up pretty well. Here's the next to Fox Deadpool. But the Deadpool's taller than him, like he, like Deadpool should be. Tom Holland Mezco Spider-Man, about, yeah, shorter than him. And this is the original body where I got the head and the hands from. So yeah, I think it came out really good. So yeah. Deuces.